Aloha and welcome to Sunday. This is the last Sunday in August after I started these videos about a month ago. And I know I've been promising all of you, my loyal viewers, who are we kidding? I don't even rewatch these, that uh, I'll take you to the beach. So here we are. Here's the beach in Hawaii. Enjoy. It's super exciting. And also that I'm out of the house and enjoying some fantastic sunny weather. And I uh, went to yoga today. That helped. And also a meditation class after with crystal bowls. And again, the point is, as I see a guy running through the park right now, running and juggling balls, is constant improvement. And we have this idea of ourselves. I think we all internally have a, an ideal idea self that we strive for. Some may be more noble than others. <laughs> I guess that depends on your standard. Um, but in trying to in trying to be the best person that we can, you know, which I think is ultimately our place here on this planet and what we're supposed to do with our time is to become and, and do the best and spread the most joy and, and help people. And at least that's an idea of an ideal version of me and to get rid of this job and have a six pack. So, you know, that definitely is up there. <laughs> so to perform physically my best, you know, like the guy who's running through the park while juggling just now, you know, it, who knows why, but it made me smile because it's a human being a human and doing something amazing. Weird, you know, I can juggle a little bit. I don't think I can juggle while I'm running and, and it's not really a goal of mine, but that it is of his, you know, is, is super cool. So I'd ask, you know, what the ideal version of you is. What do you want to do with your lives? What are you striving for? And is it for just for you? What, and, and is it for someone else? What are the reasons? A large part of my life was spent trying to do things to receive approval from other people, which ultimately left me feeling empty. And it was only later in, into my late 30s that I, yes, that old, realized that I need to do things on my own terms and live life to the fullest for me and not for, for other people. Not that I can't try to help other people but not for the purpose of impressing or living up to someone else's standards or, or something. So, um, yeah, I uh, also wanted to mention grounding and how important self-care is. I, it was hard over this last week, me going through some, some manic uh, and depressive uh, moments in order to do that self-care. But, you know, ultimately I did light some palisanto, some sage, um, took a salt scrub, and then went hiking yesterday and, and today out in the ocean. And hippie things, who knows why, it feels great to have those minerals around you, something about the contact with your cells, and something about how those just like flow out into the ocean. And it seems like it, it really helps reset your energy. Uh, especially if you're a person who's prone to pull in energies from other people. And I think we all are. Uh, I think some are just more sensitive than others. So how do you ground in your life? How do you set a routine? And how do you, um, I want to say hold yourself accountable, but that word has some heavy implications to it. So how do you find joy in improving your life and how do you find joy in sticking with your goals in a loving um, progressively supportive way because at the end of the day 
that whoever is going to give you the most support and love is yourself. So please enjoy one last shot of the beach. I'll try to get out here more often because I need to, not just for you guys, to see me all, mm, hi. <laughs> so have a beautiful weekend and um, do whatever you need to do to heal. Aloha.